Salomon from Brooklyn, Salomon from Chef. It is permissible to wear Nike shoes since they take the name Nike from God's. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The question coming from the lands of Brooklyn. Huh? Is it permissible to wear Nike shoes? Huh? Brooklyn. Tayyip? Is it permissible to wear Nike shoes? I'll say this humbly. If you say wear Nike shoes are haram because it's the name of a goddess, a goddess of speed or a goddess of victory, that's fine. But you can't drive a Mazda or a Nissan or Toyota, or Chevrolet, uh, all types of watches, all types of pieces of clothing, all types of foods and drinks as well. They have the names of goddesses and gods. Thursday is the day of Thor. Huh? The mighty Thor with the, the hammer. Huh? Infinity Wars, right? Uh -huh. The guys act like you don't know what I'm talking about now. You don't know who Thor is? The mighty Thor. Thor is the day of Thursday, the Nordic god, the day in which they would worship Thor, Thursday. Friday is the day of Frizz, Frizz Day, in which they would worship another god. Monday was the day in which they worshiped the moon, Moon's Day. So all of these different names and titles that come from shirk and polytheism, that also does what? Applies. It's haram to wear the sneakers, it's haram to call it this day, it's haram to pick up your paycheck on this day. And call it that, you go to your boss and say, Yo, Mun Juma, I want my paycheck. Everybody clear on this? There are many things, different cars that you drive. You ever wonder, what is the, the symbol of Mazda, huh? All types of things, huh? That have haram, shirk, polytheistic origins and roots behind them. Huh? You like waffles, Abdul Qawi? You know, the original iron, uh, waffle iron was made with a crucifix to honor Christians. Don't take it from me. Read about it. You'll find it in the books. It's a historical fact. So one may say you can't have Belgian waffles now because they come from shirk. So there are certain things that you have to apply what? All around the board. Does Nike, with the check, the swoosh, huh? does it necessarily mean that it's the, the sign of the goddess or it's just the name? Or someone's name is Nikki? Or call someone's, a man's name Nick? These are all derivatives of this word. So that's my advice, is to be mindful, is to be careful, and to practice these things what? Across the board, with a moderate balance. If you don't feel comfortable wearing Nikes, you shouldn't wear them. Don't let your children wear them. But if you feel that there are many other things that have these types of names and symbols, that best. And the last thing I'm gonna say in this situation is, the last thing is what? As our entire modern society is based off of logo, the logo. And where do logos come from? Read about the origin of logos and how they are symbolic and what they mean and read about the people who came up with the concept of a logo. You'll be shocked what you'll find. And Allah knows best.